<clears throat> hey everybody long time no see happy thursday october 28th i have been missing in action and i apologize no i don't really <laughs> i've had a legitimate excuse um if you're here please say hello i love to chat with you um, it is a rainy, murky, chilly day here in Kansas City area. Perfect day for staying inside and crafting. And I've got such a fun craft to share with you today. I really um, love the um, party favor that I'm going to show you today. I am going to turn the camera around. It's a 3D item, so hopefully, well, here, let's do it this way. Got a lot of lights on the thing. It's a little um, witch's hat party favor. Um, if we use some Velcro dots to attach the hat portion to the base, you could fill this with um, treats, or you could fill it with treats and just tear off the bottom if you didn't care. Um, about that but it just makes a cute little I thought a table favor or something to sit on your desk or just just a fun little um, Halloween decoration so let's turn the camera around there we go and um, I wonder if I have too many lights on today. I think it's the, all that uh, sparkle I've got that's kind of shining the reflection. But this is what we're going to make. And to make it for the base, you're going to need a four inch, about a four inch circle. Um, this is a four inch scallop circle that I cut with my, hi Chris. I cut this with my electronic cutting machine. Um, I have one, but you could just trace around a saucer, um, find something that's four inches. You may have a four inch circle die, um, just hand cut a circle, um, but that's all you need for the base. I, I try to use our Stampin' Up layering circle dies and they're just too tiny and the um, it just was, it looked kind of weird. The base was just too um, small for the cone. But that's what you're going to need for the base of the hat is a four inch circle. Like I said, use, use the rim of a cup or a saucer or something. And um, it should be hard to get. Oh, what is happening? Are we still live? <laughs> It says we are live. Chris, am I still here? Everything just kind of went blank. Like we lost internet or something for a second. I'm going to carry on as if we were still live. I just had a thought here. Let's see how big this circle is. It's three and a half. So this would probably work because we are going to use... Um, the star dies from um, the Give It a Whirl dies, which here's a card that I made using the Give It a Whirl. Isn't that cute? I think I made that last week. Here's another one that I did using the clouds and the Give It a Whirl. You get all of these dies with that. And I imagine this circle would work perfectly fine because this is between three and three quarter and four inch. So there you go. I'll try and make one after we get off today using that circle and then we'll compare, but I bet that would work perfectly for that. Um, okay, but that's what you're gonna need for your base is just a larger circle. Now for the little cone that you're going to need for the top, there's just some folding that we're going to do. And I'm using a 6 by 6 inch piece of um, designer series paper. This pattern is from the cute Halloween 6 by 6 paper um, that is in our Stampin' Up! mini holiday catalog. Really cute prints. 
um, colorful prints on one side and then your black and white prints on the other. So I'm just using this orange and black print. Now, if you wanted to make a larger cone, um, just make sure it's square because you're gonna you're just gonna do some some simple folds to make this cone. So you could use a smaller square or a larger square, and that would make your cone, um, you know, either smaller or larger. But I'm gonna use this six inch square, and I've got a little my little um, cheat sheet here. The first thing you want to do is score a half inch um, score line. You, I'm using my um, paper trimmer. You could use your Simply Score tool or just eyeball a half inch. Then you're going to want your bone folder. So that is the first step. <laughs> now, let me see what the next step is. I'm hoping I'm going to remember this, you guys. It's just, we're going to take this fold. So we've got our little half inch. Hi, cat. It's folded under. And I'm going to take this corner and bring it um, over to the edge. Paying attention to make sure that this point is lined up really well. So that is our first fold. Then we're going to bring this corner down. Again, making sure that our point is um, lining up real sharp at the top. This is that half inch um, tab we made. That's how we're going to glue it all together. And this might be a project that you're going to have to um, pause, come back, you know, speed up. But um, once you get the fold, you're going to do okay. Okay, so we've done, we've gotten that much so far. Now we're going to turn it over and I'm going to get rid of this half inch tab. I'm going to fold it to the other side. And we're going to fold all of this over, paying attention to the top, line it up. I don't want to use your fingernails to make sure you've got a real sharp point at the top. And we're going to fold it over like this. So now it's going to kind of look like this. I'll try and do a diagram on my um, blog, but this is this would be really hard to explain into words what I've done. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is this tab that's left over. I'm just going to take my scissors and follow the line, this line, being careful not to cut it, but just trim that tab off at the top. So now it's going to look more like that, a little funky. Then you're going to notice there's a short side and a long side. You want to pay attention to the short side, and this should be about five and three eighths because we did a six inch square, and it is. So I want to go from this tip with my ruler to five and three eighths. On this long side, I'm going to take a pencil and make a little mark right there. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut from this corner right here to that mark. I could also, if it's easier, I could just use my pencil and from our 5 and 3 eighths inch point mark to this little edge draw a line. Maybe that's easier if you do it that way because you probably can't see my little mark. So I measured five and three eighths here. This is going to make it like a TP and we're going to get rid of all this excess. We're just going to cut it straight across. So this is just scrap. 
So now it looks like this, and this is basically our cone. You want to make these all mountain folds. And there's one more thing that I just almost forgot. Let's, let's get this back here. We've got to create a base to um, attach to our circle. So I'm going to take about an inch. Um, I want it to be right down the middle from my point. So there's my point. This is about five and a half inches. I want it to be right down the middle. Actually, it's about five and a fourth inches. I'm going to make a little mark about an inch. And then I'm going to fold this. I could use my um, paper trimmer, but I don't think we need to. I'm just going to fold that. So basically what I've done is I folded an inch up from the bottom. And I'm going to use my bone folder to really um, crease that and burnish, burnish that. Now then, we've got this weird looking thing. <laughs> I keep buffering. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope it comes back. It looks like I'm okay. The countdown's still going. I'm so sorry. It kind of blacked out on me there for a minute. This is not one that you want buffering on. Huh. Might have to just tape this again without the live. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what it looks like when we fold it over our one inch. So I'm going to cut with my scissor. I'm not going to follow the diagonal. I just want to cut this straight up from the bottom. I hope you can see that. I'm not cutting this way. I'm just cutting straight up. like that. So we're left with that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. We're making a little square base is what we're doing. So it'll look like that now. And then when you open it up, there's all your tabs. So I'm going to trim off this little half inch tab. We don't need that. And then I'm going to put some adhesive on our oops, little half inch tab over here. It's probably way too much. I hope my internet isn't um, Chris's connection is okay. Good job. Thank you, Chris. So, Kat, maybe over by you, it's getting kind of... Okay, there's our little cone. We, we placed the adhesive on that little half-inch tab. Now we're going to shut the bottom. And this is where, if you wanted to put some candy or anything inside, you would do that now. I'm going to just put a tiny bit of adhesive there. I might, you know how I always like to trim my tabs? I might trim these a bit. Trying to figure out, okay, this is where I want the back to be, so I'm going to let these go. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim these just a bit. Should have trimmed them before I glued it all together. 
when I post this on my blog, I'll try and do a diagram so you can all see how I trimmed the tabs. They just don't want to close on me. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Hold that a second. That was the hard part, was just doing all that folding. And I will try and do a diagram. It's just easier to watch than to try and explain how I did that. <laughs> now, this is where I thought if you wanted to keep your witch's hat um, nice but put candy inside, you could maybe use a Velcro dot to connect it to the back. But we're going to add all the fun embellishments. So I don't know. Um, I think this would be more like a table favor or a decoration than maybe a, a, a treat holder. So I'm going to just adhere it to our four inch circle. I don't know if I can kind of prop that up so you guys can see the sample or not. Cause, um, and then I'm going to use some of this. I love this this um, glittered organdy ribbon. I'm just going to wrap some around the base of the hat and tie it in a bow. This ribbon was made for Halloween. Halloween and New Year's. <laughs> I love it. Sometimes it's easy to, it's helpful. I don't know if it's easy, but it's helpful to take a um, little mini glue dot. I'm going to put this at the back of my hat. And that kind of stabilizes that ribbon. And then we can put one on each side as well. Keeps it kind of down there towards the bottom and it won't roll. Okay, now I'm going to tie my bow up here. And then I'll probably stick a glue dot right underneath the ribbon as well after I add all my other little goodies. Okay. So there's the little ribbon. That is a little blurry. Okay, the next thing I did, I used, a, I used a retired, I just kind of put this together one evening. I was just playing around, wanted to make a witch's hat. Um, I used a retired um, silver foil doily. But I did discover, um, I wonder if this one would work. That one's a little big. You could use a scalloped circle from your layering circle dies, but I discovered this little um, fun die, and it's part of the painted poppies with the coordinating um, dies that came with the painted poppies. Let me see. I'm going to list the um, all the products afterwards like I do, and you guys can see the name of that. I know some of you probably have this bundle with the painted poppies. This was real popular. And I took a piece of the silver foil, and this is in all in the um, page 75 of the Holiday Mini Catalog. It's on the top, the silver foil specialty pack. So you just needed like a two inch by two inch square. 
And I think I already cut one of those. Yep. So that works perfectly. But like I said, you could use a scallop circle or even just cut a circle out of um, some silver, bleh, silver foil. And I'm just going to tuck that down in there. I'm going to adhere it right to the witch's hat. While I've got you all on here, I am going to be a guest crafter on Craft Roulette, Mary Gunn, G-U-N-N. If you look up Craft Roulette live on YouTube, she goes live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on her YouTube channel. She streams live, and she has been so nice to invite me to be a guest crafter tomorrow night. So if you're home and... Um, want to watch that they're always a lot of fun and you're always you're invited to participate and you can even submit your your creations using the parameters um, I think you have 48 hours or 72 hours to submit something and then Mary shares it the following week um, on craft roulette so it's really fun okay there's my little um, silver doily thing that's what I'm calling it. Now I'm going to stamp my little It's Halloween um, sentiment tab. And I'm using Memento Black ink with, and the It's Halloween came from the Clever Cats that I've been making a lot of things out of. I showed you guys the um, this little spinner card that I made last week, and that's from the... Um, Clever Cats. So I'm using the It's Halloween. It was the perfect size with a little strip of basic white cardstock. See if I have my. No, I don't know. Oh, here it is. These are photopolymers, so I always like to use my. Um, paper piercing mat. I'm going to kind of put it towards this end because we'll trim it down to fit the hat. So anyway, right before I came on here, I worked with um, Mary and her um, son Stephen. He's the technical guru that does all the... the um, the tech and we got everything set up for tomorrow night so I would love to you guys to come on and um, participate in the chat and perhaps make make a um, creation using the parameters that were the roulette wheel decides okay I'm just gonna kind of decide where I want that to stick I'm probably gonna trim it off a little bit and just adhere that down. Okay, make sure that shows. For some reason my camera's kind of blurry. I wonder if it's dirty. <laughs> That could very well be. Okay, the next thing I did is I used the Cat Punch, and it is in the annual catalog, and I used some of the Black Glimmer, which is also on page 75 of the mini holiday, um, the 12 by 12 glitter paper, Black glim Glitter Paper. It's always nice for a little sparkle. We make really great New Year's cards or Halloween cards or whenever you want something a little sparkly. So I'm just using the little cat punch. And I think I use little um, mini dimensionals on her to just kind of pop her out of there. I wanted her to look like she was sitting in front of everything. So I'm going to take... had a little sheet already started. Here it is. 
You know how you hate to start a clean sheet? <laughs> Maybe that doesn't bother you. That kind of bothers me. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Donna. Let's see you slip in there. When I finish here, I think I'll go over that folding one more time because that is the hardest part. So I'll get another piece of paper and we'll just um, go over the folding one more time if you want to hang around for an extra minute. Okay, and then I used a retired uh, punch, the bat punch, but um, that is retired now, so not available anymore. So I thought I would use the stars from the Give It a Whirl. And once I, um, I tell you what we'll do, we'll go ahead and redo the folding just to give you kind of a, a little refresher course on how we got this cone. And I will cut a circle out of this and I bet this from the Give It a Whirl um, dies is going to be perfect size for this. I'm sorry I didn't notice that before. If you join me late, I just cut a four inch scallop circle with one of my electronic cutting machines. But um, you could trace around a, so a saucer or a, you know, a wide glass or small bowl. Okay, let's see. I think I already cut some of these out. Do, 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 do. I cut some out of, I was going to let you guys decide, I cut some out of the rainbow glitter paper. I just cut a piece of the yellow with kind of the orangey to kind of look more like Halloween to attach on there. And I also cut some black ones um, to... Um, attach onto my hat. Like I said, these bats are from the retired um, punch. You know, when you get those bunches, you got to keep them forever because <laughs> they go away. Um, but I got these stars from the Give It a Whirl dies and I thought they would work just as well. So, what do you think? Black or the yellow or maybe a little bit of each. I think a little bit of each maybe. I think I'm going to use a little bit of each. I hate to use things that we don't have available anymore. Darn them stamping up. Getting rid of stuff so they can bring us new stuff. I'm getting ready to see the new holiday catalog here in about a week and a half. Not holiday catalog, spring catalog. We haven't even gotten to Christmas and I'm going to get to see the... <laughs> I wonder if I should do a medium size. I'll do this here. Let's do a... The stars make it look more like kind of like a wizard hat, doesn't it? I'm going to put this tiny little one on here. So I cut some black ones out of that black glitter, glitter paper, and then I cut some of these yellow ones out of the rainbow glitter, glitter paper that is in the annual catalog. So that that looks just as cute with the stars, I think. Looks more like a wizard hat. Okay, so let's go over the folding one more time. So here's a piece of paper, pattern paper that I'm gonna use. It's a different pattern. And I'm gonna cut, I don't think it matters. Uh, I, not cut, I'm gonna make a half inch um, score line here or you could just eyeball it and score a half inch um, tab. This is what's going to hold everything together. So here's our little tab. Now I'm going to take this corner 
and I'm going to make sure, let's see, I don't know if I want to do that corner because I want, I guess it doesn't matter what direction these these ghosts and goblins go. I don't want them to be upside down, but they're all over the place. Anyway, <laughs> um, here's my tab. I'm going to fold it under. I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to fold it over to the edge, making sure that this point is very, very, you know, you want to make sure it's sharp because that's going to be the, the very top of your hat. Then we're going to bring this corner over again to this side. Again, making sure that... How can my phone be ringing? I had it turned off. I am so sorry, you guys. Sorry about that. I thought I had everything turned off. I had notifications from phone turned off. And I probably forgot to put the do not disturb on there. Okay. So there, there. Now we're going to turn it over. And this tab right here, I'm going to put it back here to get it out of the way. And we're going to bring this over to this side. I'll do this all over again since we've had 5 million interruptions. Good grief. So it's going to end up looking like that. So you start with your half inch fold. Then you bring this corner up along the side. You fold the, that tab under and do that. Then you're going to take this corner that you just did and bring it over like that. It's kind of hard to see with that pattern paper. Then you turn it all over and I'm going to get the tab out of the way and bring this over to there. Then you're going to cut off this little um, tab that was kind of sticking out. So there you have it. It's not going to be in the way anymore. There's a shorter side and a longer side. This is going to be 5 and 3 eighths inch um, long. So I'm going to go from this tip on this longer side, find 5 and 3 eighths and make a mark with my pencil. Then I'm going to take my ruler and draw a line from the mark to this little corner, the short side. Then I'm going to just cut all that off. This is our um, it's scrap. You can use it for, you can trash it or whatever. Then you make your little mountain folds so they're all folding out and you're going to fold it together and glue it together with that tab. But first, I did, I did the same thing again, y'all. I forgot to do the fold. We're going to measure up an inch, make a mark, or just eyeball it. And we're going to fold that over. Where's my little mark? Huh. I think that's it. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> you just want to make sure it's, it's um, you know, parallel. Crease this really good. So it looks like a little sailboat. Then we're going to go from this corner straight up. We're not going to follow the slant. We're just going to go straight from the corner 
up like that. So you're left with this, there's a little bit hanging over. Do the same thing on this side. I hope that's making sense. There. Now that's going to be our tabs to close it at the bottom. And what I didn't do on my first sample is go ahead and trim your um, tabs and it'll close a lot easier. These would make really cute Christmas trees. Be on the lookout because I'm going to try and make one into a Christmas tree. Um, okay, then I'm going to cut this little half inch tab off. We don't need that. So then you're going to put your glue or your adhesive on this. Um, I'm going to trim this a little bit too, guys. I'm going to go like this. So this is our half inch tab. I can't believe that phone began to ring. I must not have put it on um, Do Not Disturb. And y'all, I didn't want the houses to be on the outside. We're going to go this way. I wanted the ghosts to be on the outside. Whoops. That phone call's got me a little bit, a little out of sorts. It was, uh, it was a 913 area code, so I think it was the hospital. My mom had her surgery yesterday. For those of you who've been around and know what's going on, everything was very successful. We're happy about that and we're hoping that she will be feeling so much better once she gets her strength back and all that. Okay, so that's how you do it. I hope that made sense. I'm going to hold that a minute for that to dry. Now, I, like I said, I use my um, cutter for this, but let's see if this little wheel from the um, um, Give It a Whirl dies, I think is going to be, yes, plenty big. Oh, I'm so glad I found that because it's so much easier to use this than to drag my, my cutting machine out. I'm just going to, whoops, throwing everything around. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it right out of this, um, get some tape here. So it doesn't move. to use my bigger machine. replay for this video will be up on my YouTube channel shortly as well. So it, it might be one of those. Yes, that's a perfect size for it. I'm so happy I discovered that because our layering circle dies just aren't um, quite big enough. But this one is plenty big. It doesn't look odd. <laughs> it's not too small. So yay. So we do have a die that's big enough for that um, hat base. So that is the witch's hat, little mini witch's hat. Like I said, you before you close it up, you could tuck some candies in there. 
Um, but I'm just going to use mine as little table favors or just to set around. So thank you girls for joining me. Um, I think I'll be back Monday. I don't know um, what's going on. Uh, my mom may be discharged Monday, and so my day might be kind of full on Monday. But um, it's just playing it by ear right now, and I appreciate all your patience. And if I can answer any questions you may have, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.